Hello everybody, especially you my friends and people that I like to talk about. My name is Aftermath and welcome back to Crash Bandicoot. I fixed the fucking cutscenes. Hooray! Let's do some missions. Yep, I finally fixed them. I figured out it's because I changed my audio plugin, so Symphony of the Night actually works. And the audio plugin couldn't handle this game, because that wasn't a specific audio plugin for certain games. Which didn't work with other certain games, like this one. So, what happened is that the audio basically buffed itself way... Uh, like... How can I explain that? Alright, so the cutscene consists of one video file. No, not, one, not of one video file. And also not of one audio file. And uh, what the plugin did, in order to work with games like Symphony of the Night, where it's only one file, is that every time it buffed, like a new audio file was buffed, it instantly skipped to that one. Now why is this important for Castlevania Symphony of the Night? I have no clue. But because Crash Bandicoot has more than one cutscene, that actually doesn't work in this game. Because it just skips. Like, the skips we had the past few ages, really. I also set an artificial frame limit to what the game's FPS is, which is 59.94, which really did help. So yes, emulators are not perfect. I wish I would have still my old PS1. I, still, I, I wish I still could hook it up to my computer and record from that, but I can't, because I have no capture card and it things are exp expensive. But it's sitting right next to me, well not right next to me, but in an... Uh, what are they called? In an... In an, in an uh, fuck, I forgot the name of whatever they're called. Uh, whatever, it's sitting right... Uh, it's sitting in a certain way right next to me. Uh, just in a oh yeah right in a box it's sitting in a box next to me why I'm not why don't I know what a box is I'm like crazy anyway anyway it's sitting in a box right next to me and that's why it's fine I guess actually before I started let's playing this game for the gaming hydra I actually played it through like not hundred percent which I want to do here but just straight up played it through once except for the last word I can't believe. On my actual PlayStation, just to make sure that I still remember the game. Otherwise, I could have just instantly done Crash Bandicoot 4, but uh, 3, I mean. But didn't, because I still remember the game somewhat. I still remember that I'm not really good at it. I need to get better. Or else I'm gonna get wrecked soon. Alright. Again, whoop, we go here. Oh, that worked. That was close, though. Cool. There was only eight boxes here. Maybe we are getting the uh, one of the crystals in this level. That would be kind of cool. Spares me some backtracking. Oh my god, what the hell is wrong with this box? No, I j misjumped. That is ch just crazy. What do you dare expect of me to do anyway? Well, at least I don't have... Oh my god. It went down when I tried to jump on the hippo. Which makes the hippo jump down. That was stupid. But I tried. I'm sitting live, time to waste them. Up, up, yep. Nice, nice die plant. 3D platformers. No, ah, oh, god damn it. But at least I got a life out of this. I don't really know how to pick that up. Oh, I did the mistake again. Alright, let's let's time to wait two cycles. Let's try once more. Ha, ah, worked. You are not getting me, game. I'm getting you. In Soviet Russia. In Russian sushi. Mm-hmm. <laughs> nice. Nice. And um Well this is a tr this is this is a gnarly trick. I can't go there. I hope you do not screwing up my uh, attempt to get all chests in this level. Why can't I go there? I have no clue. I pretty sure last time I was here I could have been Wait, 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 how am I supposed to... Oh, I am supposed to damage boost myself? No, I'm pretty sure I wasn't supposed to damage boost myself and I just found something that shouldn't have happened. Pretty sure I should have walked there first. Oh, whatever, damage boosting is always nice, if it works. 
What is a damage boost, you may ask? Yeah, well, a damage boost is something that, well, you take damage intentionally, so you can reach a ledge or whatever. You could otherwise not reach. Like, this right now was a damage boost, because I couldn't jump with that board. Oh no! Ugh, oh, goddammit. Pretty sure I'm not gonna get this damage boost again. So... But I have to, don't I? No, it's just precision platforming. Ha! Huh. This is how you were supposed to do it, apparently. I'm not gonna lie, it's a pretty stupid thing. Ah, uh, let's try again. Um. Okay, that works too. But if it's close, but works. It's close, but works, so that's all I need to know. Oh, lo, my heart is pumping right now. I don't really understand why. I also just woke up. Well, not really. I woke up a couple of hours ago, but I was uh, not going out of bed for whatever reason. Probably because I was still... Oh, no! God damn it. Shouldn't be so hard. Why didn't I just boost? I don't know. Alright, let's try again. This is the most annoying part about a mission where you try to get a freaking diamond on. And at the end of the mission, I probably won't even get it. I bet. Like, that's just how much luck I have. Whoop a lot. Oop. Waiting for those uh, two mines. That they are floating back in a very unrealistic pattern, which they couldn't float if this would be a real river. But this is Crash Bandicoot, and this is not a real river. Actually, I think there's a real river somewhere in Crash Bandicoot, but this is not it. That was more close than I'd like to admit. I can't get this crystal because I can't detonate the... Oh my god. So this was for nothing. Great. Because I couldn't detonate the um, green chests and for some reasons I couldn't even go into the second crystal room. That's interesting. I don't even know why. Beer it, I already did that. Crash Crush. That sounds fun. Not really. It doesn't. <laughs> Gonna admit. Oh no, it's one of those missions again. I don't like the missions where you run in front of the camera because it makes you have less time to react to whatever you're facing. Doesn't help if you have a rubber bending um, snowball behind you. That is always as fast as you are. At least somewhat. Even if it doesn't look that way. It's supposed to always catch up. Maybe not the first one, but everyone after. So this mission deck is actually a uh, crystal, and I know how to pick it up, so I'm probably going to do that. Because I'm not stupid. Maybe I, I'm stupid, I don't really actually know, but we can figure that out always. This was the hardest part already. Maybe this was also a mission skill. Oh, no. It was just giving me back safely. After collecting the chest. Well then, in this mission there shouldn't be too much hidden chest, so let's try this. Those boost plates are actually only there because this thing is rubber banding. If I wouldn't take them, he wouldn't get me. If I would take them, he's also only going to get me if I fuck up. This is how the game works. I don't really know why, but hey. Game design is a nice, beautiful thing. And to be quite honest, this was one of the crash be best crash games. So the game designers did a really great job. So I'm not going to doubt that whatever reason for them being included um, are there, are great or justified. So... But I still don't like this kind of missions. I think the, I think it's bad design, not not bad design per se. I think I think it's bad missions just because it's really hard to um, you know see what is coming. It's a little bit trial and error esque, so deaths feel a little bit cheaper than they should. And I think that those deaths in this game they shouldn't feel that you know cheap in the in the sense. 
But they do, because you can't see those things. And no matter what you do, you still can't see those things. And even if you try really hard, there's a really high chance that you are probably not going to see those things. I, it's really hard to no, not die on these missions in the first time to attempt them. I'm gonna be absolutely bloody honest. And what you just said, uh, saw this me using this to jump up, I have no idea why it's working. But apparently the hitbox moves just enough so it works. So I could jump up the ledge. And I'm not gonna forget this. I forget, forgot that once last episode and it was really, really frustrating to go back. Checkpoint. Web. Oh! I scratched my nose. See, this is what I mean. I scratched my nose. In every other situation, I could have done this because I would have seen coming that I couldn't have scratched my nose at that point. But not here. Not here. Scratching my nose was not in. Kinda had to. If you don't know what rubber bending means, then look at the snowball how fast it is right now and how fast it's catching up. And then check how... Uh, are you kidding me? I gotta get... I... Alright. I, I see that this was the last chest in the game. I'm not gonna miss this. Anyway, if you see that it's, it's always equally fast, except if I get basically... Um, if I get some distance to it, then it's starting to get faster. But I need that distance, even if it gets faster, because it's also slowing down and if it's reaching a near-me state. Oops. That was not expected. This is going to be absolutely clutch and close. Ha, I finally scratched my eyes and, and my nose without dying on this pit. Great. Whoop! It's always, the, it's always this little bit of a heartbreak right there. Okay, that is really, really hard to... I think I need to do some... I don't actually know how to get that chest. Okay, maybe not this way. And not that way either. So... How do I get that? Well, I guess this is trial and error as hell. I need to figure out when exactly... I need to figure out when exactly I can do the speed jump and when I can't. Like right now I couldn't have, but I did anyway. I think I'm not even gonna be able to do it anyway, you know. That was um, me not jumping when I should have. Yes, I really want that crystal, guys. It's that important to me. Don't ask. I'm not gonna tell anyway. Incoming lasers. Now I can get to boosts. Now I should have, no matter how much rubber bending the snowball does, now I should have more than enough time. No! No! <laughs> that was so close. It was such a great attempt too. Okay, that wasn't as great. That also wasn't great. Incoming lasers, and now take double boost, take triple boost, do the jump, do another one, do another one, do another one, and we are here. The snowball is slowly but steadily incoming. Ha, fuck you, fuck are you. Ha, nice, I got it. So it was worth it, there was no hidden things here. Great. Oh, I feel so much better about losing half my lives. I'm sorry if I had to concentrate, it was a little bit of serious time, but hey, whatever. Maybe I get a cutscene now, it would fix everything and I could show you, finally. A cutscene, in this game. 
No, but I get the dance. <laughs> can we do one more mission? Um, we can, definitely. Snowbiz. Let's do Snowbiz. Because the other one I did in the last part, that would be kind of redundant. I learned in this mission to always go back once because sometimes there's chest behind that. There was one mission where this was an infamous infam case. And the sliding mechanic, by the way, accelerates and decelerates. So if I would go into one direction really long and then in the other one I would take a while to actually change directions. Don't ask how this works, I don't understand it either. That was fast, and I like fast. I could play Sonic, that's much how much I like fast, but the problem with Sonic is in the last few iterations it wasn't really fast, more like very tediously bad. For example Sonic Boom, Sonic Boom is the epitome of what isn't fast. I need the red crystal to do anything in this level, so I... I was just for one second assuming I couldn't make the jump and when it showed me I could make the jump indeed, I failed. That is great. Again? Oh god, never mind, I'm just gonna jump through you. Oop! I need some two more apples for another life, which is important. Well, how am I supposed to make this jump? I am fucking... Yeah. Now this is just wasting lives. Is it completely unreasonable that you should be fair to your fellow bandicoots? That was close, but it worked, so I'm not gonna complain. Oh, a new life, which is what I really needed. Oh, of course, that kills me. Totally forgot. Shouldn't jump either, should I? No, I shouldn't. And how am I supposed to do this? Oh yeah, right, never mind. I bait out that they fly. I'm gonna do it a very safe approach. This wasn't really safe. Oh, I need the extra life. Sorry. I was sneezing. If you didn't hear anything for a second, that's because I was sneezing. Oh, look. I need a double jump. Oh, no, I don't. But it's extra life. Need that extra life. Cool. Great thing about this is... Obviously... I can repeat this as often as I want without losing lives because it's a bonus stage. You don't lose lives here. More lives, please. Okay. Okay, this is not working. But this is. Am I stupid? Yes, I am. Oh, an extra life, which I need. Don't really care about all the chests, I already missed a few, and I couldn't get all of them anyway. That was close, but I didn't want to go down the hill, because that would be even worse. It would be just mildly frustrating. Anyway, I skipped a few footsteps for a couple of extra lives, which is great. Another extra life, nice, I, I filled off my lives a little bit. Oh, what is this? Is this the spinning circles of doom? No, it's probably just spinning circles with penguins. Oh look, it's a crystal. The, the, the thing I shouldn't miss picking up, like last time, when I missed to pick it up because I was hunting for treasures, because I was stupid. The mission I did hunt for treasures in was basically backtrack mission. I had to backtrack so much in order to make it work. See, I couldn't get over half those chests because they were hidden wherever the white, um, the, the red thing would have been. Uh, probably in some kind of sub-level. 
<laughs> now we need only to do one more mission and one end boss and we would be done in theory. But I'm gonna save because it has been <clears throat> long enough already. Yes. That is uh, it. By the way, if you see this video, you should have probably realized that for once you don't have those black bars everywhere. That's because I figured out how to fix it. You still have a small black bar though, because that's just how the game works. We come with a poor version of it. It has black bars on the TV as well. Yep, I'm not gonna be able to fix that unless I stretch the game, but that looks just bad. Really bad, actually. In other words, after we're signing out, thanks for watching. As always, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. See you guys next time on the Gaming Hydra. And don't forget to check out my private channel. It's somewhere in the description, maybe. Oh, this is this is this is brute. This is brute. It's cute though, isn't it? It can it's really cute. Now, goodbye.